Good evening. My name is John Thayer. On behalf of my brothers Jim, Tommy, and Mike, and our mother Patricia, we would like to welcome you to the All-Star Salute to the Oregon Military. We are here tonight to honor my father, Jim Thayer, and to officially name the Brigadier General James B. Thayer Oregon Military Museum at Camp Withicum. <laughs> James Burdett Thayer was born in Portland on March 10, 1922. He spent his very early years residing at the Oregon coast and Portland, following the Prohibition-era whims of his parents, Ruby and James Garfield Thayer, who eventually left young Jim to be raised by his maternal grandparents on their farm in Carleton, Oregon. My parents divorced when I was four, and um, I had the good fortune of my grandparents, uh, who lived on a 28-acre farm in Carleton, which is uh, had 749 people at that time that took me in. From his early years growing up in rural Oregon to his success in business and the military to raising a large and diverse family, Dad's legacy is defined by his ability to connect and engage with people as well as his caring style of helping others. Jim Thayer and I go back about 25 years. He was appointed as a civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army uh, back in the Bush administration. So even though he was appointed in a Republican administration, he has served in both Republican and uh, Democratic uh, administrations and uh, represented the Army exceedingly well. After graduating from Carleton High School in 1940, Dad was awarded a scholarship in journalism at the University of Oregon in Eugene. After his first year, college was cut short by the United States involvement in the impending war in Europe. This is the Army, Mr. Jones. No private rooms or telephones. Dad joined the United States Army as a buck private in 1942 and eventually earned the prestigious Silver and Bronze Stars for his combat heroics during the Second World War. I enlisted right after Pearl Harbor as a buck private infantry. I went down to uh, Presidio Monterey where I was sworn in. The division that I joined for World War II was right at Fort Benning. Moved just across the street to Sand Hill where the 2nd Armored had been. Pat Patton had had his 2nd Armored before it went to North Africa. The commanding general was a West Pointer. The assistant division commander was a West Pointer. All three regimental commanders were West Pointers. And so we really had a, a great bunch. I was signed as a mine platoon leader in the anti-tank company. And by that time, the Germans were moving out of Normandy, and that's where we were. While leading his anti-tank mine platoon into Nazi Germany in 1945, Dad saw face-to-face -face combat with SS troops. Dad's platoon discovered and liberated the Nazi death camp Gunskirchen Lager near Wells, Austria. Going back for the 50th anniversary of the Holocaust Council, the U.S. Holocaust Council and all the survivors' families, I was standing at the Vienna airport. I'd flown from Portland uh, through London to Vienna to uh, do this ceremony. And a guy came up to me and he said, you're Jim Thayer? And I said, yes. And he said, well, my name is Alex Finkelman. And I want you to know, Jim Thayer, that I wouldn't be standing next to you if you hadn't come in when you did because uh, I would have died within 24 hours. He was 14 years old. All at once at that particular point, I really realized that what our 8 million soldiers had done to liberate Western Europe. Tonight we honor America's greatest generation, the brave men and women who served during World War II. Brave men like Brigadier General James B. Thayer. I want to personally thank you for what you did. If it wasn't for men like you, my mother and my entire family would have been wiped out in the concentration camps of Nazi Germany. I owe you a debt of gratitude that I can never repay. There's much been written about uh, the veterans of World War II, uh, the greatest generation. And I've always thought that General Thayer, more than anybody I know, personified that phrase, the greatest generation. Kiss goodnight. 
Yeah. Dad married Patricia Cunningham in 1954, settling in Beaverton, Oregon on a five and a half acre 1890 farmstead, raising five children, now married for over 57 years. Two things were really important in my life. I wanted to get married. That was one thing. And I fortunately found a wonderful person to marry. And the second thing was just uh, having a family and uh, really never thought about having five children. The J. Thayer Company was founded in 1955 by my father, eventually becoming the largest independent office products company in the western United States. As an influential civic leader, my father was chairman of Hillsborough's Quality Hospital, president of the Port of Portland Commission, president of the Oregon Historical Society, and sat on the board of directors of Reed College, General Telephone of the Northwest, Oregon Graduate Institute of Science and Technology, and Napton Corporation. We had to know each other in the sense that they were both small business retailers. Uh, Jim in Washington County and selling office furniture, uh, Atiyah Brothers in Portland selling rugs and carpets. And so we were in the same uh, situation. Dad retired from the U.S. Army Reserves as a full colonel in 1982 and became Oregon's civilian aide to the U.S. Secretary of the Army in 1989. He was awarded the Secretary of Defense Medal for Outstanding Public Service in 1994, and on March 12, 2000, he was reactivated as commander of the Oregon State Defense Force and became a Brigadier General. Jim also is the epitome of uh, the vast majority of those millions of people that served in World War II, that they came back, and even though they'd already served selflessly in World War II, they came back and decided there is more to do, there is more to give to our communities. He grew up out in Yamhill County on a farm. He knew hard work. He knew the principles of honesty, of basically loyalty and duty. He came home, became a successful businessman. He contributed to the state by his volunteerism he has always shared his skill and talents with the people of Oregon, making Oregon a better place for all of us. Always, without any exception, uh, always good things to say about other people. But it was natural with Jim. It was not put on or anything. He's a very quiet, trusting person. Well, what I'm excited about is uh, the whole complex taking the armory and making it into a museum for historical, educational things, and including the uh, Quarters One into a really a historical complex, which would be two or three things. One of them is that it would be a great draw uh, for, from an academic standpoint of visitors, students, and everything else to find out about the great history from basically the time of the, of the uh, Howard Wagons. Here's an individual who uh, came from a common background, took his service seriously and made the most out of it, and has lived a life of uh, exemplary service. And uh, we should be very grateful uh, to him, and it's fitting to honor him with this uh, museum. Having Jim Thayer's name identified with this museum has turned this around totally, that the community recognizes immediately a and associates a, uh, a well-known individual who has done so much for the community with this museum and they see the worthiness of this project. What I think you get with the naming of this new museum after General Thayer is you have got a person who has walked in their shoes. He is a person, as I said earlier, understands both the horrors and the triumphs of war. That's what this museum is about, is to honor what is the past, but also to build on what is the future. And I think General Thayer and his name on the new museum probably does more to accomplish those goals than anything or anybody that we could have named this museum after. He is the personification of the citizen soldier. Mm -hmm.